Hey, Josh and Nick coming at you with another Wirecast tip. So you've got a, a show going on and you've green screened uh, some of your show out and you've got some backgrounds going on, but you want to take it to the next level. You want to use a virtual set. So let's take a look at what that means. Uh, we've got our show set up here with Master Yoda as our talent, and we have already uh, chroma keyed out, meaning green screened out the background, and it's pulling a pretty good key. We can see a little fuzziness going on here. Um, and so I want to take, though, and I want to make it look like Master Yoda is on a newsroom set. So one of the things that I've done is I have gone out and gone into video blocks and I found a news TV studio virtual green screen backdrop that's also a video. Now again, there's a couple of different ways to get this video inside of Wirecast. All I'm gonna do though is drag this down to a layer that's underneath of my camera. Because again, I want my subject to be in front of that. So here we go, I am now gonna select that as a part of my show, select Yoda as my talent, and I'm gonna click go, and there, there we are, and that's kinda cool. Now, it's harder to see down here in this, but there, the clouds are moving in the background, and you can see the waves going, it's pretty awesome. But this green TV back here, I wanna be able to put a movie on it. I wanna be able to put a happy birthday on it. I wanna be able to put uh, go nights on it or you know whatever I am doing for this segment of my show. How do I do that? Well, the same way that we green screened out our, our green screen over here with Yoda is the same thing that we're gonna to do to this image. I'm going to click on it and highlight it. And then I'm gonna come up to my right I've got a, I've got uh, six different menu items up here I'm gonna come up to my chroma key properties it's the icon of a person and I'm gonna click use chroma key and when I do that again it's it's picking a funky color for me so I'm gonna say pick key color with mouse and I'm gonna click the green so that's pretty darn good notice now that the green is going away because really green screening is punching through it's telling all of that green, all of the whatever we picked with the color picker to be transparent. So now what I can do is I have my camera with Master Yoda on it on layer three. I have my news TV studio backdrop on layer four and I wanna go behind that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new media file. And the media file I'm going to add is our uh, Wolverine babies leaving the den and when I do that look look at how that shows up here and I can hit play and I know it's really hard to see here you know what I'm gonna collapse my my uh, my options here but we can see it now it's slightly moving but right now it's taking up the whole screen I need this to fit inside of this tiny little window so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over I'm gonna open my options back up and I'm gonna come over to my shot layer properties. Now I need to make sure that I have the video that I want selected and I am going to scale this video. And then I'm gonna drag it, move it, and then I'm going to scale it just a little bit more. Now I can drag this with my hands. I can also come in and I can just type in a number and sometimes that's easier to do. I didn't have number lock on, so that always trips me up. And then I can move this kind of into place here a little bit. And now when I hit play or go in order to go, now I can see that movie happening. And if Master Yoda were to move around, we'd be able to see and they can move to the left or to the right. And so I've created a really nice kind of TV studio. Uh, you can do this uh, in your show very easily. Again, if you log into LCPS Go and you go to the Library and Media Services uh, set of icons, there is another icon in there for video blocks. And if you're inside a Loudoun County Public Schools network, you can access that and it has thousands of stock videos that you can use for your new show. Your students can also use them for any video project that they would want to use for creating. But there are a couple of virtual sets that are out there that have green screen 
TVs in them that you can embed your own video and media into in order to give your show uh, that extra level of pop and polish. So hope that helps. Good luck. Have fun broadcasting.